What does the remainder of this post state? Um, I don't know where I left off, so I'll just, it said, uh, this N-word was a legend in the streets. That sh uh, shit hurt my soul to know he gone. He used to like Meek Mill for some reason. I guess that's who he thought was real in the rap game. He always told me never watch a man pocket, uh, again, omitting uh, the C, uh, and think you deserve the money he got. Uh, that's why the rest of them in words broke. And was this on January 21st of 2019? It was a story posted on January 21st, 2019, and it was up for 24 hours. Now, going past page 166, going to page 203, do you see uh, – can you describe for the jury kind of how you, you have a post and you have you know, graphics on the front? With Instagram and these stories, what is this? Is this a repost, a new post? So this looks to be um, a uh, like a post. Uh, a, it's a so it's a screenshot of a post that was then posted uh, uh, by Mr. Ryan's account. And what was the original Instagram handle from this post? Um. So it's going to be Ocean Drive Slim with the S in Ocean replaced with a 5. Um, and it states uh, at Slime Business Rod. Um, and it's got uh, – it's written in lime green with a green heart. Champagne bottle emoji. It's got a snake emoji. And it says, happy birthday, little bro. Live it up. And it says uh, hashtag – slime business and then it's got a green heart emoji uh, and a snake and what was the date of this post the date would have been uh, uh, posted by mr ryan's account on uh december 20th 2018 and it remained up for uh 24 hours um and it states that it is a um you can see where the status of it. So it's a deleted reshare by the original media. So what does that mean? Basically, it means he shared um, a post that was deleted by its original poster. He reshared it. It as 426 Yankee. What is the Instagram handle with 426 Yankee? Um, what what page did you go to? Uh, it's going to be on the screen only. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. and look at the screen to 426 Yankee. And I wanted to ask you. I think we're renewing a previous objection. All right, thank you. I wanted to ask you, what is the Instagram handle from 426 Yankee? Uh, it is the uh, Ocean Drive Slim. Uh, again, with the five, uh, S in Ocean, uh, replaced with a five. And then... Um, uh, it says yeah. – is that all you wanted? Yeah, I just wanted to ask you about the handle. Okay. Going back to – is that the same handle in the post that we were just discussing? Yes. So what that post was is essentially when uh, a person is tagged by another individual. Like let's say in this case, Mr. Rodelius Ryan would have been tagged in a happy birthday wish, and then you can also reshare that over the Instagram Mr. Ryan's Instagram. So he was resharing a where he was tagged on a birthday post. Going to the next in uh, to November, November Alpha One. So is this another uh, reshare? As in the Instagram associated with Rodelius Ryan is resharing it, or can you describe this post where you have? Yeah, he would have been tagged, um, and it looks like uh, um, the. Um, 
Uh, so it, he's resharing a post uh, um, posted by uh, Do It For Phil, uh, where Do It For Phil tagged uh, Slime Business Rod. It's hard to see the Do It For Phil as being the original poster because it's in white and it's like a white on white background. Uh, but you can see he was sharing a, a picture of, of Ryan and what it says. If you scroll down, it's a uh, picture of Rodelius Ryan. He is wearing a uh, necklace with a YSL pendant. Um, he has a firearm tucked into his waistband, and it says, hashtag top shot uh, happy emo snake emoji day young um, at slime business rod with another heart emoji, and it says youngest in charge, and it has several, I guess, laughing emojis as well as a crying emoji and is this original post where beneath that where it says slime business rod no um the original poster is do it for phil and he's posting a picture um he's posting a picture of slime business rod and saying <laughs> this is his account he's tagging that picture and wishing him uh happy snake day happy birthday and what is the last uh, message after Slime Business Rod in this post? Oh, it says, um, um, Bleveland is the jungle. Most of you inwards wouldn't survive. Hashtag Glocks and Choppas. So that was the original tag uh, posted by Slime Business Rod. And is that, what kind of emoji is that afterwards? A demon. What about the very end, the bottom? It's got um, a uh, picture of a smiley face with its mouth shut with a zipper, zipped shut. And was this posted on December 20th of 2018? Yes, it was posted December 20th, and it expired uh, 24 hours later on December 21st. So you can, again, see that it says deleted. It, was, it expired. It was a story, um, and it was a reshare. Um, of the media posted by Do It For Phil. Scrolling down further, this is another post in the Instagram associated with Rodelius Ryan? Yes. And what does this one read? It reads, shoot the ops. Make them catch on a emo fire emoji. The catch as a spell with a K with replacing a C. And it says hashtag Opsville uh, with the uh, emoji of someone's you know, head exploding. And what is this posted on December 6th of 2018? Yes, and it was a story post, and it was uh, up for uh, 24 hours. It expired on – no, it was – it was posted on December 6th and then expired on December 7th. Going down further, are you able to, with Instagram stories, have like a graphic or photograph posted uh, from yeah. your Instagram? Yeah, you can. And are you able to read yeah. what this states? I, I'm going to object to this being admitted. This is something which was discussed previously and was subject to foundation. I don't think that foundation's been laid. All right, so it's a foundation objection. So, Your Honor, Mr. Hiles is reading what we previously discussed. So I'm not asking Mr. Hiles. This is in evidence, and we have previously addressed this, all parties in the state. So I don't know what the foundation is of an admitted exhibit. If it's admitted... I'm, and I'm, forgive me, I just may not recall exactly what the, the, the objection the was, so maybe y'all want to approach again. Do y'all want to take a quick break? Okay. All right, I'm, I'm sorry, um, Ms. Abasi, you may just have to remind me. Yes, Judge. Um, when we address these photos specifically, this is one, um, I believe we objected on relevance that, it, it didn't have any relevance at this point, and Your Honor's ruling was that it 
would be subject to some sort of foundation or connection, and that's not come in at this point. So it's a relevance objection. Yes. But and this exhibit is already in evidence. So what, what we have discussed, and the state is well aware of, is that the entirety of the records were put in for the sake of completeness, but the entirety of the content is not something which the entirety of the record is placed into evidence, so there is the entire record. The part which is evidence in this case, that if the jury said, we'd like to see what the evidence was, mm -hmm. we've already discussed that. And this is within that category. Meaning the two of you amongst yourselves have discussed that? With so, Your Honor, if I may briefly. I rewatched the hearing that we had on these because I always want to be transparent. I don't want to publish something that the court said was subject to foundation. I'm trying to pull up my notes on this. And so this exhibit has been, you know, the state has twice or three times and by the state, you know, I've personally been redacting either names or the photographs in that exhibit we posted in line with conversations with defense counsel and rulings by this honorable court. And this, what everything that uh, ADA Hiles is publishing, which is why I did it this way, is what has been shared with all defense counsel and I've had uh, you know, ample conversations and there's nothing new in what's being published and so I'm trying to pull up my notes from the hearing because I would have not included if it was subject to foundation Hiles. I'm not perfect but the hearing was? yes your honor it was August October 9th oh. uh, and I have time hacks in my notes from the YouTube of when rulings were made so I'm trying to find that so that the court can refresh to find that um, to, so to the extent that the state intends on calling someone to lay this foundation later I think this is cumulative now to have him simply reading them out when at this point there's no context but someone else is going to come and do that later so your honor and any defense counsel correct me if I'm wrong I believe through detective Beltnap Rudy gang and the uh, individual who was deceased and is referenced and is uh, tattooed on some of the co-defendants in this case with Rudy gang has been discussed through either a witness or a gang detective and if I'm wrong on that correct me but those that has been referenced in this trial writ large I was not physically present for detective Beltnap who was the first witness but my understanding from even since when I have been is there has been some discussion of that and number two, this is an admitted exhibit that I intentionally kept within the four corners of what defense counsel, this court, we've all discussed. So there shouldn't be any surprises in what I'm walking through because I wanted to avoid any kind of hiccup with publication. I'm not saying that this is a surprise. This is just not the appropriate time or the appropriate witness to be bringing it in. Your Honor, the, if there's a rule of evidence objection, which was foundation, this is an admitted exhibit. So I don't know how to address a foundational objection with an admitted exhibit. That is a pre-admitted objection. I, I agree. Okay. All right, I'm gonna take a break as well. And if any of y'all need to take a break uh, while the jury is out, um, do that quickly. Thank you. Go ahead, Mr. Uh, Atkins. Thank you, Your Honor. So, <clears throat> Mr. Hiles, I'm publishing what's marked as page 240 of State's Exhibit 2, November, November, Alpha 1. It should be coming up here in just one second. And what does this, what is the, how does this read? Uh, Rudy 4L Gang. And what was the date of this post? 12-2-2018. Um, it was a story and it was up for 24 hours. Now for these stories, are they public or private in terms of do you have to be, are they shared to specific people or can anyone on Instagram view these? So I don't know how his account settings were. 
if his account settings were private, then only his followers could view them. Um, if his account settings were open to the public, uh, then whoever looked up Slime Business Ride could view um, those postings. Going to page 244, in um, this slide, how does this read, or what does this say? It says, love all my snake emojis, and then it's tagged several Instagram names, those names being Slime Life Shawty, uh, Lil Slime dot Vert, at Lil Got It, at Lil Keed, at Playa underscore Nut, uh, at Block Life OKKY, at Block Life dot Berna, at ESPN underscore Pokey, at One B Slime, and at One dot J Dog. And that post was that. November 28th of 2018. Uh, yes, it was. It was just up for 24 hours. Moving to page 258, what does this post depict? Uh, appears to be uh, several handguns, uh, one of them having, or a couple of them having some extended magazines, uh, and it says uh, Guns and Roses. And that was posted, is it this November 22nd of 2018? That's correct. Going to the next post on PDF page 260, what does this post state? So, um, um, the top word, uh, it, it basically makes slime, I guess, an acronym. Uh, and it spells slime at the top, and it says S, sorry, L, Lord, I is I'm, um, M is money, and E is educated. So sorry, Lord, I'm money educated, and then it's surrounded by snake emojis. And was that posted on November 22nd of 2018? Yes, it was posted on that date and up for 24 hours on his story. Going to page 315, is this another story from Rodelius Ryan's Instagram? Uh, I would have to see um, the uh, – to confirm it was a story, I'd have to see the, the just, uh, photo description below it. And what was the date of this? So if you can you yes. can you enlarge it please? So yes, um, it's a it is a story that was posted on uh, 10 20 2018 and expired on October 21st of 2018.